Hey, yo, 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 what's going on, guys? This is your boy, Wolfresco, and in today's video, I'll be helping you guys farm for a Mayhem 10 backburner. Now, how am I gonna help you farm for a backburner? You're over there, I'm over here, but you know what? I'm going to help you anyway. Now, what I did was, in tonight's stream, I did start a brand new playthrough, and when I got to the agonizer part, I stopped, created some save files, and now I'm gonna share them with you. Now, on a side note, I do stream every night on Twitch, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you have any questions about this video or any of my other videos, feel free to stop by, ask your questions. I'm more than willing to answer, all right? Stop by, hang out with us. You'll have a good old time. All right, so the save file I created is going to be at the point before you jump into the arena. So you don't got to run through the whole Guts of Carnivora. You don't got to do all that run. It's going to be right where the machines are, right before you jump into Agonizer. So you don't have to do much at all. All you have to do is jump down, take them out, kill pain and terror, and get the loot, and then just wash, rinse, repeat. Now, the reason that this has to be done is because right now, Agonizer, he is glitched, and he is not dropping Mayhem 10 gear. Now, his loot pool derives from pain and terror loot pool. Agonizer himself does not have a loot pool. His loot pool consists of pain and terror loot pool, if that makes any sense. So the only way that you're able to get a Mayhem 10 backburner is to kill Terror himself. And that can only happen one time during the playthrough. Okay. It's either you do the save files or you have to do the playthrough over and over and over. It's going to take you three hours every time to farm them. So this is the best method and I will be sharing the save files with you guys. Now the only thing is that this is going to be only for PC. I do not know how to do save files on console. I am not a console player. Unfortunately my console peoples, I apologize. But this is strictly PC. Now I'm going to show you guys exactly the steps you got to do to make this happen. So like that you guys can farm a proper Mayhem 10 backburner. The reason I'm doing this now is because we do have a week until the big patch. Which is next Thursday is exactly a week from today. So we still have a little time to kill. So instead of waiting till the patch to come out for you guys to farm the backburner. You guys can do it during this week since we have nothing but downtime. All right, so now that we know what we're going to do, let me show you real quick how to make this happen. All right, so first things first, once you download the file, where do you put the file at? All right, you're going to go to your save file folder inside your game files. So where do you find that? Um, pretty simple, all right? Once you go to your file explorer or whatever you want to call it, um, you're going to go to my documents. Once in my documents, you're going to go to my games. Once in my games, you will see Borderlands 3. Um, click on Borderlands 3, go to saved, go to save games, and then you will see a folder with some random numbers in there. This is your save file folder, all right? You're gonna open this folder up, and this, uh, all these dot saves, these are all your game files. These are all your save games that you have in your game currently, all right? So once you do that, once you located that folder and you know where you downloaded your save file, what you're gonna do is, let me show you real quick so you guys see that I don't have it here. If I go to play, I go to load character. Um, my first save file is Moserati, Zayn, Amara, blah, 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 blah. All right? So back out of there, you want to open up your file explorer. Make sure you locate the save file that I, I am providing for you. Uh, that's the save file you're going to put in here. Uh, mine happens to be over here. You're going to copy it. And then you're going to go back to your file, your save file folder, that folder with all the numbers, all the random numbers. You're going to paste it in there. Once you paste it in there, you will see it, see it right here. It is 98.safe. And once you go to load character, it will be Agonizer A. All right. Now, this is a save file that's going to be right before um, you fight Agonizer. All right. So you'll jump down. You're going to spawn right there. Like if you're farming them regular, you're going to spawn right there. The only difference is that this is during the storyline. You know what I mean? So you got to take them out. You're going to jump down. You're going to take out Agonizer. Let me load up uh, real quick. Let's do this real quick. Um, let's go with a Sandhawk. Why not? And we're going to jump down. Once we jump down, you're going to get the cinematics. You can skip the cinematics. And then just do your thing. Take him out. Um, he's not that hard. It takes like literally like 45. No longer than a minute. No longer. Than, it shouldn't take you longer than 60 seconds. All right. So once you take him out, you're going to see the cinematics. Skip the cinematics. Oh my gosh. So dramatic. All right. The storyline. Um, and then you're going to see pain and terror ejected on the ground. Once you see him over there again, uh, it's the bigger guy. The bigger guy's pain. All right. Pain is the one that drops it. There we go. 
Um, you're gonna come on. Oh, um, make sure they don't enemy the round. Um, you take both of them out and then you just look at your loot, all right? And that is all there is to it, all right? Now you can repeat this over and over and over again. All you want to do again is save and quit. You're gonna go back to the main menu. Now, in order to put the save file back in again, what you want to do is go to load character, select a different character, right? Not the file that you're gonna replace. The file you're gonna replace is Agonizer A. Make sure that you don't have that game selected. So let me let me just put Zane just for visual effects for visuals so you guys can see I changed the character. Now you're gonna go back into your save folder. You should have the file already copied onto your clipboard. So what you're gonna do is is just right click and paste again. It's gonna ask you to replace the file in the destination. You're gonna replace it. That's it, all done. Now you're gonna go back to load character and you will see Agonizer A again there. You're gonna click on it and you're going to continue. Now you're going to repeat the process over and over. You can farm him as many times as you want, as long as you don't delete the save file. If you delete the save file, then you're going to lose everything. All right. Again, it's going to leave you up here right before the fight. And then you jump down and fight all over again. Now, real quick, um, this is important. It's a little bit of importance. Um, if you happen to get a back burner that you want, what you're going to want to do is go to Sanctuary. You're going to put it in your bank before you put the save file back in right so remember very important go back to sanctuary put your back burner in the bank and then put the save file back in and that is all you have to do um pretty simple pretty quick um like i said i do stream every night on twitch so if you're a little bit confused as to how to make everything happen which um i think it was pretty clear but if there's any confusion at all or you need the save file or anything like that um stop by the stream just ask me feel free to ask me um i'm always more than willing to help again um i am on twitch every night at 6 p.m eastern standard time so um that is all i got for you guys for today all you got to do remember wash rinse repeat that's all you're doing you put in the save file in you're gonna farm them you're gonna get out of there you're gonna replace the save file all right pretty simple um go in there right click paste that's it. Done. Now the save file is replaced. Now you can go back in and fight Pain and Terror again. Um, Pain drops it. That's the bigger guy, by the way. And um, once you get a back burner that you want, you need to go to Sanctuary and put it in your bank before you try to farm it again. If you keep it in your inventory or your backpack, what's going to happen is since you're replacing the game file, it's going to replace it with whatever I had in my backpack. You know what I mean? So it's going to replace whatever you have in there and you're going to totally lose it and you're going to be mad. So make sure to go to Sanctuary, drop it in the bank, and then replace your save file again. All right. So uh, that is all I got for you guys today. Hopefully this video helped you out. And if you have any questions, again, stop by the stream. I'll be more than happy to answer. So uh, hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if you have any questions about how to do it or anything like that, or you're stuck, feel free to stop by the stream and ask me and I'll be more than willing to help you. All right. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if this helped you out in any way, shape or form, then definitely drop a like. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with my Borderlands 3 content, then definitely consider subscribing. All right. So like always, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you guys on the next one. All right. Peace.